So when you find the data set that you would like to use, in this case this is the uranium ores and concentrates produced for the year 2009, you have to highlight the entire data set starting with the title and this is really finicky about this site but you have to highlight this this last box just the inside of the box not the entire box but just the inside like so and if you now copy and paste into Excel copy and paste will have success so if you have a reference column you can feel free to erase that and if you want to be able to read the country names and the other information clearly you can widen your columns so what you should do now is highlight the entire data set starting from the value column in this case it's column D you can see the arrows in the column D area start highlighting from here and go across and go into a data menu and sort from smallest to largest so you'll have to think now if you want to include or not include zero values if you can remember my initial attempt at the global uranium distribution language it was quite difficult because I was including zero valued countries and if you pay attention to the sample I have online now the language is a lot simpler simply because I did not include zero value countries so in this case I'm not interested in countries that are not producing uranium so I will delete my zero value. So what we can do now is create the five point summary with the goal of eventually making our box plots. So we'll start with the min and the formula for min is equals min If a formula gets highlighted, I like to just hit the tab button just to bring the bracket up. And you can go ahead and highlight the entire D column and just hit enter. And there you go, you get the min. And that's accurate. It is one. The lower quartile formula is equals core. The low, lower quartile, the formula is equals quartile now scroll down to hit that and hit tab again to bring up my bracket so now I can highlight the entire D column and I need to tell Excel which quartile this is with a comma and the first quartile and hit enter and there's the lower quartile and now the median equals median I will hit tab to bring up the bracket in form Excel which data we want the median for hit enter there it is the median is 675 upper quartile equals quartile tab over to get the bracket and again the D column comma this time it is the third quartile and hit enter there and now we need a max which is equal to max for the D column which is 13,900 so we'll carry on and get the standard deviation which is equal to the ST DEV bracket highlight entire D column enter so we're working with a standard deviation of 
3,898, which is quite a bit. And we can go ahead and find the mean. This equals the average of the D column. And <clears throat> that's enough for the five point summary. What we're going to do now is go to a website that is perfect for making box plots and more importantly perfect for making box plots side by side. It's called Box Plot Grapher. And I'll be putting this link up on the website for you guys. So I'm just going to go straight ahead and make two box plots. So here, number of bo box plots to graph. Bring this to two. So if you're just generating one box plot and shooting for achieve on this standard, then you would just leave that to one. So you put your titles in. And you can bring up your five point summary. And simply input the information. from your five point summary in Excel over here, which is what I just just made with you guys. So now that I have the five point summary information for both box plots, I have to decide on the limits, the box plot limits for the actual graph itself. So we'll just take a look and this is just under 10,000 so we'll just make that the max. And it looks like uh, we're at a min of one overall so it makes sense to start at zero and probably be a good idea to try out I don't know 500 for the distance between tick marks so we need an axis title here and this is uh, uranium production in metric tons and it's probably a good idea to make this image as wide as possible so I'm pretty sure 650 is a comfortable size that will fit on most people's computer screens and we'll go for uh, maybe uh, four, 300 height here so now that we can see the graph we can compare what I've actually inputted here for the box limits and it looks like 500 is a little bit too bunched up for this width so I'll try and widen that out to 800 and that looks quite a bit better yeah that looks pretty good it's obviously a little bit jumbled up here but box plots are generally difficult to generate and this website has the easiest format for you guys so unfortunately it's not perfect as you can see here however our five point summary makes all that information crystal clear so now we have a visual representation of 
the box plots and we can compare between uranium production in 1990 and uranium production in 2009 and it doesn't look like too much has changed as you can tell now very clearly looking at these two box plots so you'll want to right click here and save the image this is the only way you can get it off the site I think if you just save the image to a folder that you know where all your stats stuff is and there's all my box plots I've been working on so with this and your five point summary as I indicated in the email you can do quite a bit of the assignment already and be a really good idea to at least have this work done and uh, as many bullet points for each section that that you can come up with just to get your thoughts on paper and begin to assemble it into a logical format for the assignment